Hey guys, Katie Krause here for Hollywire.com, coming to you from Austin, Texas, South by Southwest, joined by Skylar Gray. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I'm excited that you're here. Congratulations, because you recently signed with Interscope. Yes, Interscope through Wonderland, which is Alex the Kid, uh, mm -hmm. his label. Well, some of your recent co-writes are very famous right now. Yeah. The first one that happened was Love the Way You Lie, mm -hmm. and I wrote that last spring. Alex the Kid and I met over email. Oh, wow. because my publisher wanted us to meet and uh, he sent me a track and then I sent back the course to Love the Way You Lie. So it was the first thing we did together and uh, two weeks later we found out it was going on Eminem's record and that Rihanna was going to sing it and ever since then my whole life changed because I was living up in the woods in Oregon like sad and depressed about the music industry and how bad it had been to me. Oh, poor me. <laughs> And then all this great stuff going with Interscope. Um, well, it's cool because they see me in my own lane. So they're, they're like, there's nobody there like you. And we want to put you in your own lane. And, you know, mm -hmm. so, so I'm not going to have, a, I'm not going to follow in anybody's footsteps per se there. But I think that's what they're great at. I love the way you lie. I'm just curious about how that whole process worked in particular with how you brought it to Eminem. Did you know that it was kind of going to take that life? of its own and become about an abusive relationship and what was their reaction? I knew that we were submitting tracks for him. Uh -huh. um, so, but I, I didn't realize how far he would take it in the abusive thing. Like, for me, the song is about my relationship with the music industry. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> but for him, it's probably based on like real life experience with a person, uh -huh. but it's definitely in the same place that I would have gone with it. It's really different to hear somebody else Sing the song that I wrote. Mm -hmm. um, it's I can't really explain it, the feeling that you get from it, because they always have their own unique spin on it. Well, you're working on your second full-length album under a different name, though, because your first album was under Holly Brooke, uh -huh. came out in 2006. So, kind of talk to me about this album and the differences that fans can expect. Well, I kind of grew out of being that person. Holly Brooke was a girl that my parents named when I was born, and they didn't know who I was, mm -hmm. and I didn't know who I was. And then over the past few years, I, I kind of experienced a lot of turmoil and, you know, I did a lot of soul searching and I realized I wasn't that person. So I didn't want to be named the person that I was before. Uh -huh. So changing my name was more of a life choice than just for being an artist. What's the best lesson that you've learned so far in the music industry? Because you said that you've had a lot of up and ups and downs with it, so I'm curious. The biggest thing I've learned is that nobody's going to work as hard as me. If there was anything else in the world that you could do, what do you think it would be? Die. <laughs> oh, I mean, there's a few things in life that, I mean, anything creative mm -hmm. I would be cool with, but okay. honestly, there's no other option. You know, the cool thing about, you know, writing these hip hop hooks is that I'm having, I have like a weird fan base that I wouldn't have expected from like when I was Holly Brooke. But where do you see yourself in the next five years? In the next five years, well, hopefully putting out album two or three mm -hmm. and uh, some Grammys <laughs> I mean yeah I I'm never like aiming towards I'm not in this industry to like make a lot of money and get a bunch of Grammys mm -hmm. I'm in it to make great music and art and touch people around the world and uh, perform I love performing mm -hmm. that's my favorite thing is just being up on stage and hearing an audience 